Alright then, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video and basically today I've got something extremely, extremely good to announce on the channel. Now basically, if you didn't already know, watch yesterday's video, I have got a sponsorship with Fatal Grips. If you do want to order anything from Fatal Grips at all, they do like controller skins, they do like some rubber grips for your L2 and R2, they do like control freaks I think it's called, yeah, what you have on, you know, to make your aim better. They have like some little ADS thing that makes your aim better as well. And they also have some sort of, I don't even know what it's called, but yeah, if you want to order anything, TLS is my discount code, no, TLS10, TLS10 is my discount code, my camera's running really low, so let's just get into this unboxing, and if at some point my camera does die, I will carry on with my mobile phone, but today... I actually ordered a new camera called a Canon G7X. Now, many people have got this around the world because it's a good vlogging camera and I actually might do more vlogs with it because, I don't know, when I start getting back into YouTube and doing it full time, well, obviously, you know what I mean, not full time, but I want to start doing it a lot more. So I just want to confirm that loads of people have said it's a scam, this and the other, you know, because it was supposed to be like, originally 500 units submit for my camera and then it went to 460 on Amazon, I think, which was also international. And this one, sorry, was Auto International with 388. And um, whether it's got any like faults or anything with it, I don't actually know. But so far, I've opened it and I've looked to see everything with there. I've got a spare charger with it, which was uh, brilliant. That's the first thing I got with it. I also got a 16 one cleaning kit, which has got like a little pump, a brush, some spray, uh, some cotton earbuds, some like a really soft cleansing wipe, and then like a sort of just a bit harder wipe. I don't know how to explain it, but that's 16 one right there and then for the big thing itself it did come in all this the bubble wrap by the way and uh, yes it actually did arrive from e-global central so if you do want to order anything um i'm not going to recommend it or anything because of all the bad reviews i've seen but i got mine so if you do want to do it then feel free but i'm not to blame if anything doesn't come about like that um it probably should come like obviously mine did it took seven days because i ordered it last sunday and it is now monday so I don't know, last Sunday night, so I probably classed it Monday morning I ordered it pretty much. So yeah, seven days. So in the box, obviously you get this, Canon, uh, whatever it is, I don't know. And then some it, because obviously it's international from a different country, it's in a different language, don't need that. And obviously the book, the manual book sort of thing, I'm not sure what it's for, don't need to use it. Anyways, heading straight into the box, you get like some little plastic thing, I don't really know. Another plastic thing, I don't really know. You get... Um, some sort of international plug. Now, I actually gonna order myself. Uh, I think it's an AC power cord, like a Great Britain one, a UK one, should I say? Because these like little plugs here, it says for shavers only. Whether you're supposed to use them for shavers only or not, I really don't have a clue. But yeah, then you get like some little package, and inside the little box is is. Canon G7X camera, there we go. Now, really good things about this, I was thinking of getting the Mark 1, which I'm watching on which it would have been on this website, but yes, on this one you do actually get the flip out screen, which is personally like amazing. Like, it's just good how it flips out and stuff. I don't have a clue what this bit does. Don't have a clue what that does. All these buttons on top of anything like that, but yes, this has apparently got really better autofocus. It turns on really fast. You get a flip out camera, touch screen, uh, 60 FPS, and a few other things I don't even know. Alright, so it turns out my camera actually did just die. I don't have a clue what I was saying after it through, so I'm just going to say it again. This has got better autofocus and a few other things, I'm not really sure, to be quite honest. Yeah, it's just got a flip out camera, really good autofocus, 60 FPS, and a few other stuff which I don't really know how to use or anything like that. It's got this, which is, you know, the actual plug itself. You yeah, obviously plug the battery into there and it starts, you know what I mean, it charges, you get a little band as well. And what's this? Oh, you also get the battery from in, like, the actual battery with the um, the cannon. Pretty good, but where did they put that other battery now? We had a spare battery. What did they do with it? There it is. It's Sido. So it's actually a different make battery. Don't really know if I'm going to use it or not. I don't really know. But, um... Basically this camera's died, so what I'm going to do is just take it off and I'll be back in a minute once I've took it off its tripod and put it on the new camera. Alright, so first of all, I actually do need to, um, yes, put the battery in before I do anything. 
thing that's different to this one and my old camera is that my old camera you have to just... Wait, what have you even got to do to open this? I don't even know. Oh, you've got to like slide it off, like push it up and down. Where this new camera, you've actually got to click like a button and it opens and you click a button again to lock it. Really, really easy and simple. Not hard to do at all. What I'm going to do now is just put the battery in. Um, slight problem. Oh, that's why you need to actually push it back. What a turd I am for not actually knowing that. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the memory card out of this. I just took the battery out for no reason. Put the battery back in because that battery is irrelevant for my camera. And then get the memory card, which is a 64 gigabyte memory card. I'm not too sure which way it goes in, to be completely honest. I'm guessing that's in properly. I assume it is. And then turn on. It actually turns on really, really fast. Like, wow, that. Wow, that, that was bloody fast. That speed that turned on was mental. But yes, I'm going to come back to you once I've put this bloody tripod thing on. Alright, so now it's time to just click that on. There we go, the new camera is on the tripod. The new camera, ow, when my finger like, unsticks, is finally, officially, on the tripod right now, which is just mint, guys. Like, wow. It's actually, it's actually sick. Like, I can't see myself just yet. So what I'm going to do is end this clip right now and I'm going to come over to my new camera and you can see, I don't even know, the quality difference from my old camera and this camera. I'm sorry, like, it's kind of a bad sort of review because I've done, like, three different cameras in my phone, my old camera and now my new camera. But you can kind of get a gist on how good it is and I'll just tell you my per- Alright then, boys, I'm not sure why it's not focusing. There we go, it's focused. As you can see, the autofocus is really, really good. I am actually looking through that camera, right through the screen right there, should I say. The quality is actually, actually absolutely amazing. And I'm in low light right now. I don't really know why it's not... Whoa! There we go, it's suddenly gone really good in low light. My bedroom's not really got that much light, although you can see the window's there, which might be like really overexposed. I don't have a clue, because it's got like some sort of... I don't even know wheel sort of thing, but yes, as you can see, this is really, really good in low light, and I am really actually. I keep looking at myself through like the camera thing, not even through lens, but yeah, this I've not even got it on a tripod because I, when it like first of all when I got it, I had to it had like I don't even know five minute battery, and then it died after for me doing this, and then I charged up a little bit, but now I am gonna go out with a few friends so this is why I just thought I'd pick up the camera and I'm sorry if you can hear like, loads of kids in the background or whatever I, I don't know why you, you just can't hear kids in the background but it's because they're on the street playing or whatever but personally I don't even know I just think this is a really I just think it's a lot better compared to that camera which is just right there because I don't even know it just is a lot better I mean the quality is better the actual autofocus is better it looks a lot smoother everything's better about this camera than that camera guys so anyways, yeah, you guys can decide whether that camera has better quality, which is the camera right at the very start. Ignore my phone camera like halfway through because that was just because that camera died. And then compare that camera and this camera and tell me which quality is better, guys, than if this camera is good or not, or whether you want me to carry on using this camera or not. Then yeah, just leave your comments and your feedback in the comment section below. And also, if you're not already, this is going to be the end of the video. So if you're not already, subscribe to my channel right now. Please leave a like on this video and also turn post notifications on. I've only just realised you can see my spots very, very well in this camera, which I really don't like looking at. But it's gonna have to happen. And also, if you've not uh, for whatever reason bought off Fatal Grips just yet to do like PlayStation controller skins and like even PS4 wraps and stuff, like loads of different code, loads of different stuff, sorry. PS, P PC mouses, PC keyboards, loads of different PC designs, even do Xbox controller, like to do loads of different things to like help you play better basically. So if you are bad at Fortnite and you're losing every single game, hop over to photogrips.com and cut yourself some uh, using the discount code TLS10 it'll be on the screen right now TLS10 and you get a cheeky 10% off and that helps me and it helps you because you get a cheeky discount you know why not but I'm sorry this video was rushed to sort of end bit I just have to go out and meet a few friends right now because I've not been out with them in absolutely ages so it's like the only opportunity I've got but yeah guys like I said leave all your feedback in the comment section below and without further ado I'll see you in another video peace guys